is Nur Ali Bintia Busma from RK23 with magic number 191091090. So today I would like to explain to you guys about common issue or problem in DC motor. So without wasting any time, let's look at the content. Okay guys, so basically we have six common issue or problem in this DC motor. The first one is um, carbon brushes. The second one is brush rack adjustment. The third one is commutator maintenance. The fourth one is winding issue. Next, we have mechanical DC motor issue. And the last one is drive maintenance. But uh, I would like to explain only three uh, common issue in this video which is carbon brushes, brush rack adjustment and commutator uh, maintenance. So uh, first uh, let's look at the carbon brush. DC motors must be applied with the proper amount of load. This is very important for brush conductivity on the commutator and the current density so the brush can maintain a certain lubricity when contacting the commutator under load. When an applied load is not consistent and the motor has the wrong grade of brushes, the carbon brushes can wear out prematurely causing carbon dust to accumulate within the motor. This issue can wear the commutator bars to a point of irreversible damage. A carbon brush survey could be of value to investigate the proper grade of brush for each of your applications. It is also important to keep proper constant pressure on the brush to commutator to deliver full current density at a point of contact in order to alleviate premature wear on the brush. Carbon dust is destructive to the insulation and must be maintained by way of removing the dust within the motor to prevent low megameter readings. A good way to prevent carbon buildup is to use compressed air to help remove any lingering dust from within the motor. A very low megameter reading can notify the DC drive to shut down the power to one of a potential to ground. So next, we're gonna look at the brush rack adjustment. The rack or your component must be properly adjusted to what is called neutral position. To do this, you need to position the adjacent brushes in an area on the commutator outside or in between the polarity reference of the amateur coils being energized with voltage across the brush. Keeping the brush in a neutral position can prevent excessive uh, arcing while under load. Changing loads can be difficult to get right, setting the neutral can be adjusted and perform on site when applicable. Okay, the last one is commutator maintenance. Like carbon brushes, the commutator requires maintenance from time to time. The bars on a commutator must be maintained by way of machining the segmented uh, commutator bars through. Uh, the segments are insulated between bars with a molding mica. Uh, some larger DC motors may be able to be machined on site to prevent unnecessary uh, extraction of the motor. It is very important to keep proper maintenance schedules to ensure the commutator stays round without run out on the surface. If the eccentricity of the commutator is not acceptable, you could end up with broken brushes and um, uh, or brushes spring. A commutator that is out of round can also lead to potential high bars which can damage the brushes and cause excessive arching uh, where the brush uh, contact the copper bars. A well-balanced amateur is also recommended to prevent the brushes from causing any un unnecessary damage to the commutator. Keep in mind that carbon dust will accumulate between the bars of the commutator and can produce a potential for a bar bar shot. When a commutator is machined, it's typically a good idea to undercut the mica insulation in between each bar while uh, conferring the top edge of those sides. This will give a smoother surface for the carbon brushes to make contact, keeping the commutator eccentricity at a bar. Uh, at a bare a minimum will provide you longer lasting runtime. Remember that downtime equals money loss. I think that's all for me. Thank you guys.